Hi, everyone. Let's talk about the Latin language. This is a language like English. English has a set of alphabets, but Latin is a language that I did not use to communicate with others. I used it in a way that it will be warding off some evil spirits. There was a belief that I had when I was a child uh, and that belief is based on Latin being a language that is used to ward off evil spirits and that Latin is a language that has power and anything that has power like that to ward off evil I connected to a supreme power. So I have this polarized viewpoint of Latin. One is associated with uh, the negative and one that is associated with um, a positive aspect of life, which is not really what a language is. A language is composed of letters, symbols, and these symbols are actually sound that becomes a word. And that is what language is. We use it to communicate something with a meaning. So because of this misuse of Latin, when I was young, I, I did a, a writing, forgiving myself for that. And I now feel relieved. And there's this physical release that I got from doing that. So now I can breathe and not be reactive towards the words that are written in Latin. There's another um, experience that I had, which is uh, a negative charge in it. And that is when I was um, using Latin in school, um, or there are Latin words which is used in the classification of living things. I also did some self-forgiveness for that because of course that I used um, that relationship with Latin in a negative way uh, because I connected it with a negative energy experience. And there is also a positive energy experience where if I learn Latin, then I will have a high mark in, in that zoology class and in that botany class. So, but it was in that zoology class that that was being talked about 
you know, these scientific names of different um, classifications. So what is really a language and what is Latin really? It's another language that originated in Rome. And because it's a language, it is sound. And I do not really need to interpret this sound in a positive or a negative way. I just need to see that uh, that is a language and that I can use it in, um, in many different ways. But usually, when, you, when I'm correcting the past, I use that particular word that I had a, a polarized view of. I use it to expand my view of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some of the Latin words classifying living, living things. And I will uh, use my software. I have a vocabulary software that I use and put a list there and see if I have um, a pure relationship with these Latin words that will then signify that I really corrected this particular um, area in my life and that I can face those studies and study them again and be able to get the meaning of them and be able to even give them an expanded me meaning and use them for what is best for everyone. And, um, and then live in a way where um, I can, let's say, say the names of microbes without really creating a, a reaction in me, either positive or negative, and then I will be stress-free. I can even uh, study Latin smoothly. And if I go back in school, I will be able to um, talk about it flawlessly and get the, give them the meaning, an expanded meaning that will help me understand the subject and also understand myself in relation to microbes, for example. I'll see you soon. Thank you.